Oh boy. The whole fucking game was leaked. All because some assholes in Mexico decided to break the release date and give it to the friends or fucking something, I don't know. Regardless how it happened, it happened. And I, I can't really tell you how profoundly saddened I am by that. I can't even imagine how Sakurai feels about it. A game that he's been lovingly crafting and keeping under wraps for years now, all so he can have some asshole just pull out this fucking random stunt and just ruin it all by releasing the entire games and having it as ROMs and you know, anybody can download it and it's fucking terrible. It's like I mentioned in a video that I never produced because I felt lazy and didn't actually want to make the video. Nobody actually appreciates a leaker. Yeah, I guess there are some few rats out there starving for content so much so that they'd do illegal shit just to spoil themselves and or find that content online, but the majority of people I'd figure hate the idea of getting spoiled. Imagine going to Twitter or YouTube and all of a sudden you're just bombarded by these assholes posting the final boss of the adventure mode or posting every single song or showing the last boss on the classic mode or all that shit really it reminds me of what this one guy said on twitter mentioning how when toby fox politely asked people not to spoil delta ruin people didn't spoil it and then the few who did were just that a few after 24 hours of the game being posted online people started bombarding twitter with all sorts of memes and shit relating to the game and so it goes this one indie developer who made this game in the span of his own spare time asked kindly not to release any info on the game itself, and people listened and decided to save all their shit till the day after. We're two weeks away from Smash Ultimate's release and nobody gives a fuck. It's just a motherfucking Smash Brothers game and people are so starving for content that they decided to just illegally download ROMs and all because what? So they could just spoil or like they could feel like they have a big dick and they have a head start in front of everyone? But what I really hate the most, personally, are the fucking assholes who uploaded this shit on YouTube and are going on Twitter being all like, Okay Nintendo, thanks for banning me on YouTube for life I guess, bunch of assholes. You know, it wasn't really my fault, it's 2018 Nintendo, come on, get with the time, shit gets leaked all the time now, god. Now I have to clickbait all over again just to get my 500 subscribers back, thanks a ton Nintendo, doo dickheads. So this is an old motherfucking story, but I have not heard about it until Lynn told me about it, and apparently that's what I had to talk about today. So there's this dude by the name of Daily Doso, or Mario Tip Plumber, who hates Rosalina so fucking much to the point where it physically, like, makes him puke. Like, he, he just hates it so much that he had to buy hundreds and hundreds of Rosalina Amiibos, well, probably just a hundred, so, because he just doesn't care. He thinks he's a shit girl character. Fucking vile puke. Putrid hatred is all he feels when he sees her. Fucking disgusting slut, filthy lowlife anime bitch, fucking whore. You dirty unwashed bimbo of a bitch. You doggish mouth breathing ostracized tramp dumpster. Also, it turns out he might have actually just hated every single female thought in the Smash roster, as he also purchased many other amiibo females, such as Robin, Lucina, Zero Suit Samus, and Palutena, all for the low, low price of $35,000. Sweet. So this dude must be a real bro gamer, right? Like, he must be like, amiibo, more like amiibimbo. <laughs> Fuck that shit, I'm all about amiibros, motherfucker. Fucker. The reality is though, I don't even know if this is a real story or not. I I've seen many outlets talk about this guy who bought several Rosalina Amiibos and all that shit, and they all link back to this interview with a guy conducted by Nintendo Nuggets. Here's the thing though, the interview was promptly deleted and I can no longer find the article. Not only that, but the website Nintendo Nuggets doesn't even seem to be responding, like anytime I go to the website it just doesn't work. And when looking at their social media accounts, notably their Twitter account, these guys don't even seem to be talking about Nintendo, like, at all. At least they haven't done so since March of this year. After March, they just started to act weird and started uploading articles about how to write a college essay and, like, how to get scholarships and getting a cold in China, ways to get your teacher to raise your grade, and I'm just like, the fuck? Were these guys hacked or something? I, I don't know. I'm just gonna get off topic here if I keep talking about it. So, now maybe I'll do some spooky video about it or something. I don't know. Point is, it's hard to tell if this guy actually really exists. And if he does exist, did he actually do it because he hated Rosalina so much? Or is he just some average scalper, like, fucking flaunting his dick about how he bought a ton of Rosalina figures? I don't know. But it's amusing to think about. <sighs> oh, boy. 
Hype culture fucking sucks. Like, no fooling, it just does. I say that because I know Fallout 76 is just not the last straw. It never was, it never would be, or ever could be. I think Bethesda may acknowledge that they had a misstep when it came to Fallout 76, but to admit that they fucked up royally is not something they'll be doing anytime soon. When Fallout 5 is inevitably released, or just just a single trailer or teaser comes out, we'll be singing the same song and dance all over again. That song and dance being, Hype! 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 Oh my fucking god! I am such a man-child! I fucking love video games! Oh my god, this is the fucking greatest thing ever! Todd Howard! Todd Howard, you promised me, you promised me so much, I bet he really means it this time, oh my god, I, 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 I'm actually gonna come right now. And then the game releases and it's like, <sighs> eh, eh, I don't know. See, if Fallout 4 wasn't the last straw that broke the wallet's spine, then I don't see Bethesda fanboys learning anytime soon. Fallout 3 was forgivable, I mean, it was full of bugs, yeah, but if anything, it was the first time Bethesda actually tried something like this. It, it, it was innovative at the time, it, it played like no other game before, and its aesthetic was so brilliantly played out, it was fresh and new, and it was on the next-gen console, so of course some problems would arise and it wouldn't age well, as with any sandbox game. Those fuckers are like a miracle to build, it's hard to make a sandbox game that functions well and without fault if at all. And then came Skyrim, which looked prettier and seemed a little bigger, and all these like neat little things that made it cool, and yes, there were some other things that they removed from Oblivion, and yeah, it had all those bugs, but fuck it, it's motherfucking Skyrim, yo! And then Fallout 4 came out, and then, uh, yeah, okay, those rose-tinted glasses are starting to get a little foggy now. I made a video about it a year ago on how I actually loved the game quite a lot, but when comparing the game to its predecessors, I can see how it lacks the glimmer as the others. I acknowledge the flaws of this game, but I was fine with it, not because I thought it was better, but because I actually expected this 100% from Bethesda. I expected the bugs and the, the, the shitty story, and from the trailers themselves, I didn't see anything grand, but just something maybe a little fun to play here and then. But looking back on it now, the fact that I'm even saying that is crazy. Just because it's a Bethesda game? Like, really? I, I shouldn't be expecting such a buggy, lackluster game from any company, regardless if they are known for it or not. Nobody should get a product as disappointing and as unpolished as Fallout 76. Yet the fact that it took us this long to realize that, hey, maybe Bethesda's kind of a shit developer with low standards of quality and maybe they only like money instead of actually satisfying their customers, you know, the same fucking customers, you know, paying 60 bucks for your fucking broken mess of a game? Oh well. Always remember, however. You all have the power to speak up against this sort of shit. Your wallet is way more powerful than you think, my friends. And yes, even you. You, the one without the money inside his pocket and the moth flying out cartoonishly out their wallet. You have power, too. It's, I mean, it's not as strong as other people who have jobs and, like, stable income and... <laughs> Fuck it, whatever.